Once again, an Alfa Romeo 4C has invaded the Lotus Owners Group. This was the final day of Log 43, which is the National Lotus Owners Gathering. And they decided to do a track day at Harris Hill in San Marcos, Texas. Let's take a brief look at all the amazing cars that turned out, and then we'll see how we got on. Your normal line through here would be this apex and then turn three is in a corner it's just track out for turn two which allows us to carry a ton of speed up that straight i just mentioned unfortunately i don't want you guys running that bump what you guys are going to do and it doesn't hurt you that much you're still going to get it over here to the turning cone you're going to turn in and you're going to just kind of go middle of the road middle of the road and in not bumpy. There's still a bump, but it's not, not enough to upset the car. Everything's cool. When you get over the bump, smoothly bring your car all the way left, heading up the hill for turn four. Now you guys have figured out this is a pretty darn blind corner. All right? Pretty, also a pretty important corner. All we're trying to do on the way into turn four is, I already mentioned, extend this straight. All right? Now, your apex for turn four is way over here. You guys probably noticed there's a cone right there. I call that a helper cone. All right? So when you get to this cone right here, your turning cone, you're going to drive a straight line to that cone. Reason being, this will allow you to stay on throttle longer. Okay, now, another thing about turn four. You never need to go past the middle of the road, all right? You don't want to be getting out here and coming back in. You're going distance you don't need to go and having to turn the wheel even more than you already do. Above this line, as you guys now know, you can't see any of this. It's, there's, the only thing you see when you look out the windshield is this clubhouse on top of the hill, all right? So most people, you're blind, where do I put the car, what do I do? Well, there's a seam in the road. You wanna straddle that seam, split the car with that seam as you come down the hill, all right? Now, as you guys also learned on those parade laps, almost every apex out here is a very late apex. When in doubt, turn in later, okay? Your apex for turn five is about here, track out's out here. Now, a lot of people, they come over the cliff they're so relieved they can finally see the road and see it turning left that they immediately go, I need to turn left and get in here. Like that. Fight that urge. That's going to kill your exit speed. Come down this hill farther than you think you need to. Then get it turned. Let it run all the way up. This allows us to get on throttle earlier and more aggressively. And we're going to carry that speed all the way to seven. Some of you guys, before you get out of here today, you're going to be flat to turn six. When you get right here, when you get that wheel straight, always check your left mirror. See if there's somebody you need to point by. We don't want to be holding anybody up. Everybody's out here to have a good time. If there's nobody there, you're going to smoothly get the car all the way over driver's left for turn six. Turn six is going to be a very, very fast peak in the road. All you're trying to do is six. Straighten it out. I don't draw good, so hope you guys forgive my drawing. That's all you're trying to do with turn six. Turn seven. This is everybody's bogey corner out here. All the members, everybody. Doesn't matter which direction we run. More cars go off the road in turn seven and end the other corner out here. So, apex is late, it's about here. Track out's way out here. Now, you guys have noticed there's a cone right there. Get out towards this cone. You don't have to go all the way to it. I just don't want you doing the dotted line. Get out here, get a turn, let it run. And that gives you a nice exit for turn eight. Now, turn eight, great corner. Everybody loves a sweeper. This is a nice, fast, cool corner. You're gonna come out of seven, you're gonna smoothly bring the car over. Put your outside wheels, right side wheels, on the outside seam on entry. It's a very late apex, you guys realize, way over here. Crackdown's way out here. You need to get your 
eyes looking across this corner. Heading for turn nine. Apex is about here. Let that car come out all the way out over here like this. All right, got to get all the way left to get a great run into turn 10, which has a very late apex. And that's going to be a heavy braking event. Get it over there, get it straight, get on those brakes. All right, now, late apex about here, track outside here. And it's a little blind on the exit. Once again, I put a cone right out there. I'm going to get it out like this. I'm going to get towards this cone, get it here pretty deep. Get her turn, let her run. One corner to go, turn 11. What you guys are gonna do when you track out, smoothly bring the car middle of the road, and then, straight a shot as you can get. Now no one was timing the laps, but let's use this pylon here as a marker to start and stop the clock and get an approximation of my lap times. That was my fastest lap. Let me know if you have any tips. I want to thank the Lotus guys for letting me join in in their fun. This was a blast. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you guys next time.